protesters gathered in Brussels and Paris on Saturday, voicing their outrage against recent raids on Kurdish television channels Media Haber TV and Stirk TV. These channels, established over three decades ago and implicated in an investigation into terrorism financing, were targeted by Belgian police, resulting in significant material damage. The European Federation of Journalists and other organisations swiftly condemned the aggressive tactics used during the raids, emphasising the importance of safeguarding journalists' sources and maintaining press freedom. The demonstrations featured multilingual banners, damaged equipment from the raids and speakers from various Kurdish and international groups. Ahmed Dijal, a prominent Kurdish journalist, accused the raids of being politically motivated with backing from the Turkish Republic. He said, These attacks are not just legal actions, but outright vandalism. This sentiment was echoed by other speakers who vowed to continue exposing injustice despite the crackdowns. Meanwhile, seven Kurdish activists arrested in France under terrorism charges were released on Saturday. The arrests were part of an investigation by the National Anti-Terrorism Prosecutor's Office. The Kurdish Democratic Council in France expressed relief at the release of the activists while emphasising the need for French authorities to drop all unfounded charges and restrictions against Kurdish activists.